Hey up everyone, it's farmers Rob and Dave here from Cannon Hall Farm. I hope you enjoyed springtime on the farm. It was all about Johan. Johan is our pedigree Dutch spotted ram. It means an awful lot to us. Is a ram we took to Peniston Show, our local show last year, and we won first prize and championship with him. He's really, really good, uh, but we had the most awful scare. When my dad was shearing Johan, uh, you have to shear him early, so the fleece is just right for show season. He found the lump, right, and he's my dad's favorite tub. And that's what, you know, the alarm bell started ringing, so we phoned the vet straight away. Mm, Matt didn't like it. He said there's some lumps there that look to me as though they could be cancerous. Um, that was obviously a body blow to us, and that's when we hatched the plan uh, that Johan's legacy had to be safeguarded. Uh, we were hoping against hope that he would be okay and that he would be uh, absolutely fine and make a full recovery, but we needed to safeguard his breeding potential for future generations of Johans. We took him for tests, well Matt did a few tests, and we also took him up to Barnard Castle. Uh, and we, um, because he's such a, uh, a strong top, he's a sure winner, we thought we'd, we'd we, we needed to save We basically his potential. took some semen off him. I'll yeah. say it for him. He's a little bit nervous. He's a little That's bit so. shy. Uh, we took some semen off him because we wanted to safeguard his breeding potential. Uh, whatever happened to Johan then, we knew that he got a legacy. We would have, we would have lambs in the future from him. Um, but, but thankfully, thankfully, and it was a massive relief to us, Johan is okay. We've still got that seam, and if anything happens to him, uh, but we're hoping he's got a bright future ahead of him and produces lots of lambs in the future. The great thing about the semen uh, is you can actually the, the S word. Yeah, you can actually keep it for for years and years and years. So in and, 30... not, not in your cupboard or anything, not in your kitchen. No, cupboard. no, it has to be kept in liquid nitrogen. Not in your deep freeze. It's, so, yeah, it's quite technical. Yeah, it is technical, but. Yeah. Not you know, under your it, bed or anything like no, that. No, no. He, yeah. he's, he's such a, a sure winning top, you know. And, you know, further on in the future, if you wanted that potential on one of your ewes that, that might be lacking a little bit of shape somewhere, we can produce some sure champions 30 mm. or 40 years in the future. Mm. The highlight for me was, uh, was watching the process take place. It oh, was yeah. so technical. Um, there was so much to it. It was really, really interesting. Well, just making the block of, of, of nitrogen. Yeah. Of, uh, I could solid, see you were excited about uh, Dry that. ice. Yeah. It, it, was like, it was like stuff you make, you know, using cocktails. You know, I wanted to bring some home with me. Johan has been given a clean bill of health by all the vets. It's a massive relief to us. And I know for a fact David was having sleepless nights about it. Well, you know, he's my dad's favourite tub. He's a show champion. It always happens to your best animals. It does. You're right there. Yeah. Your best you know. animals are always the ones that seem to uh, come across some peril or other. Your hand's fine. He's behind us enjoying a bit of grass. So thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.